Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a very unusual asteroid we found in the same orbit as Jupiter that seems to indicate that it might be the second interstellar or extra solar object we've discovered since Oumuamua. Let's talk about this unusual object known as 2015 BZ509 and welcome to the math. <laughs> So remember how a few months ago we discovered Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor that basically entered our solar system and uh, passed by relatively close to Earth and the Sun and then is now on the way out of the solar system. This was the first um, asteroid that we discovered that actually came from outside of solar system. But interestingly, as we suspected, it's most likely not even close to being the first one. As a matter of fact, it's the first one we detected. And it just so happens that uh, in the last few weeks we discovered that, well, yes, there are actually a lot of other objects in our solar system that came from outside of solar system and were not made um, from the same materials as Earth and the Sun. And specifically today we're going to be talking about 2015 BZ509. It's actually somewhere in the same orbit as Jupiter and I'm going to try to locate it by selecting uh, it right here because I did place it earlier and this particular object is essentially an asteroid about 13 oh there it is 13.4 kilometers in radius now I'm going to show you its orbit it occupies the same plane of orbit or relatively same plane of orbit as Jupiter and if I run this relatively fast you'll see that it actually kind of uh, moves around sort of like Jupiter but here's the thing though as you can kind of see, it's moving in a completely opposite direction. As a matter of fact, its orbit is retrograde. This is the first retrograde object we discovered in our solar system. And on top of this, it's the first object that we don't really or can't really explain very easily unless it came from the outside. And so today, the vast majority of scientists believe that this is the first interstellar immigrant. In other words, it's an object that arrived to solar system from outside of solar system, but then got captured by Jupiter or maybe something else and stuck to our solar system for the past 4.5 billion years. This object was in the same orbit for a very long time and it actually established a relatively complex but stable orbit around our sun, but orbiting in a completely different direction. And this is actually what makes this so unusual and so interesting. Nothing else we have orbits in the same way. So while everything is going counterclockwise, this is the only object that is going clockwise. Now, we don't really know much about it just yet because we relatively recently started to analyze it, but we know that its um, semi-major axis is about 4 point, sorry, 5.13 astronomical units. Its eccentricity is about 38%. And its orbital period is about 11.6 years. So very, very, very similar to Jupiter, although eccentricity is much higher. Its inclination is also relatively high. So if you actually look at the plane of orbit here, its inclination um, is, I believe, approximately uh, 163 degrees. And so that makes it a little bit more sort of shifted. But this could be actually another interesting speculation here because its inclination could be caused by planet 9, another object we haven't really uh, been able to discover in the last few years. But what does make this object very unique though is that if it did come from the outside of our solar system, we actually need to try to analyze this because this will essentially, well, it will actually put a dent in a lot of our theories. First of all, the theory of creation of the solar system because it just doesn't really make sense how this object was able to be captured so easily and so perfectly by, I guess, Jupiter in the sense. But also, it kind of puts a dent into our orbital theories because we don't really understand how Jupiter um, allowed it to maintain stability over millions but also billions of years. So this orbital existence with Jupiter is not very easily explained. Unless, of course, it was captured relatively recently, and that also kind of raises a lot of new questions here as well. 
Now, some scientists that don't believe that this came from the outer space, essentially, um, speculate that this may have been actually a comet. It may have arrived from the Oort cloud and was potentially, or is potentially, an explanation for Planet Nine, once again, because some scientists believe that um, this object maybe came close to Planet Nine and got influenced by its orbital um, parameters and its gravitational field and eventually uh, was kicked into inner solar system where it got captured by Jupiter's gravitational interactions and now has this orbit. So there's quite a lot of interesting unanswered questions here. Did this actually come from our solar system and was basically yet another proof of Planet Nine? Or is this an interstellar immigrant, an object that came from somewhere completely different and thus contains materials that are much older than our solar system and possibly even materials that we don't actually have anywhere else on Earth or in the solar system? I guess we don't really expect to find out much more until we go and try to study this object, but even trying to um, launch a satellite or um, some kind of a probe to this asteroid would be ridiculously difficult because, like I said, it orbits against the flow. So if we launch an actual satellite here, it would have to have a tremendous amount of fuel because it has to try to catch up with this in a retrograde location, in a retrograde motion. This means that it has to have like 100 kilometers per second of delta V, if not more. And that's something that we don't really know how to achieve just yet. Uh, so we can only use the telescopes or some other means to passively study this object, but definitely no actual mission is planned here just yet. And discovering what's on or what's in this asteroid will probably be a challenge for us for quite some time. One thing is certain, though, is that in the uh, near future, or I guess in the next few million years, this asteroid will most likely change its orbital parameters once again, because every time it actually passes by close to Jupiter, its orbit changes just slightly. Now, it could actually eventually crash into Jupiter or possibly even um, get slingshot into an inner uh, solar system and possibly get an orbit within the um, asteroid belt, just going the opposite direction. But chances are this will still take billions of years because the influence of Jupiter is just very, very minor, mostly because they're just orbiting in the opposite direction and even at the closest point, they're still about 176 million kilometers away from each other. So that's kind of all we know about this unusual object, yet another mystery in our solar system that we don't really know much about. But hopefully we'll learn more about this because this will allow us to understand the universe, but also the creation of our own solar system and our Earth in a lot more detail. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, the asteroid 2015 BZ-509. Interstellar immigrant? Possibly the first we found, but definitely not the last we found. In the next video we'll learn something else, so do come back tomorrow and do subscribe if you still haven't and potentially support this channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys tomorrow, thank you for watching, space out, and as always, bye bye.